So you're here because you want to learn how to make some cool ass impact frames for your fighting videos. Don't worry, I'm here to show you how to do it. And in this clip, I have these two guys fighting, but obviously there's missing some impact frames. So the first thing I would do is to find the effect find edges and put it onto the clip. Click on the first stopwatch and switch between on and off for as long as you want the impact frame to last. Copy the effect and put it onto all of the layers that you want to have this effect on. And now your video should look like this. And if you want the impact frames to be more stylized, add the effect blobby onto the clips. Set the softness to 2 and the cutaway to 15. And now your clip looks way more stylized and it should look like this. And if you want more randomness into your impact frame, add a white solid layer and put a mask on it and animate it a little bit around, making it look like this. But this is of course a very optional thing to do. And here comes the most important part of making impact frames. Make an adjustment layer, put it above everything else and add on light burst to the layer. And it already looks really good without adjusting anything. But I would like to create some more variation into each frame so I animate the value of intensity and the ray length. It doesn't really matter what value it has, as long as you animate it a little bit to create some more variation on the impacts. And would you look at that, it already looks absolutely insane. And the last thing you need to do is add a new adjustment layer and add the effect spherize. Turn up the radios a ton and make the effect come in at absolute random times, making it look like this. And there you have it, that's how to create some insane impact frames for your fighting videos. And make sure to watch my fighting videos because they're absolutely insane. And if you enjoyed this video, drop a like and subscribe because I make the most crazy VFX videos in the world. Thanks for watching, goodbye.